Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and today we have another quick demonstration video for you and in today's video I will be showing you how to install and remove a contactor from a DIN rail. This is a very quick and simple uh, demonstration video but it might be helpful to someone. Very simple but it might be helpful to someone. So. There are two main types of DIN rail breaker in terms of connection. So I have three contactor here. Let me just go ahead and remove them. Me removing them right there. Some people are going to end this video because they already see what they wanted to see. Let me get the next one. All right. So two main type two main type this type here that has the clip and the retracting part all of them have a retracting part right this one has the spring on it to bring it down up and down this one also have a spring on it but if you notice the difference between this spring so the spring for this one is at the top right this is a Siemens contactor. Siemens. So, how to install this one? At the top there, we have the spring. I'm just going to go ahead and press it down until you hear that clip, and that is it. It's firmly in place. We have this next one right here. We just go ahead and we have the hook. That little hook part that you see right there. Not sure how clear you can see it. Hook. You're gonna hook it on top of the DIN rail. Press it down until you hear it clip into place. The clip should be able to slide across. Then we have one more. This is another Siemens. Uh, Siemens. This one is. But this semen and this semen is slightly different. They are both semens, um, two different type of semen contactor, but um, the clip that they use is somewhat different. So this one is similar to this contactor. Not even sure what brand that one is. So say in the same way that you connect this one, where you clip the top of the DIN rail on the hook right there, just hook it and then you press it down. And this one is a little more difficult, so I'm going to go ahead, pull the clip down, pull the clip down, and it's firmly in place. So all of my three contactors are firmly in place. Um, as it relates to removing them though, this one, which is the one with the spring at the top, you just pull it down and lift. That is it. So let me go again. Press down. Clip it in place. Firmly in place. You can't just pull it off like this. You have to press down on the spring and lift it. That is the one that doesn't have the clip at the bottom. Right? As it relates to the ones that have the clip at the bottom, you have to go ahead and pull the clip down. So, use a flat pan screwdriver. Pull the clip down. Remove it. The next one, go ahead, pull the clip down, remove it. So that is it, guys. That is how you install and remove contactors from DIN rail. So, this was another video brought to you by Dana's Electrical Services. For these and similar videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Dana's Electrical Services. Thank you, thank you, thank you.